Hey y'all, hey, I'm back and I am here with an unboxing from Illustrated Faith for April and I am so excited because I have been waiting for this kit. I am, I've seen sneak peeks, I love the colors and I'm just ready to dive in. I'm also going to share with you at the end of the unboxing something that I've been doing for the first quarter uh, with all of my kits. So I hope you stay tuned and... I did open this already, but I have not looked through the contents. <laughs> so, um, eternally grateful all the time for Shauna. She's always writing us sweet notes and including them in the packages. Um, I saw these online as well. These are mini itty bitty icons and there should be another that is inside that is larger than that. Ooh, and this washi tape, y'all. So periwinkle is a color I like. I'm wearing it. Well, this is a little more lavender, but <laughs> um, really excited about these colors. So this first one is called Emily Scribbles. So it looks like mixed media, and it's got like a like a like a mauveish brown nude color um, with marks on it. And then there is the solid periwinkle color. And then you also get a, you can get a Hello Bow washi as well, which is, it's not white, black and white. It's more like a off white and um, black bows. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna stick that in my little lunch tray. <laughs> and then also we have some library cards, of course. We always get library cards that match the kit. And so I'll show you the colors that come in this one. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's on the first card. You know, this was usually a sticker on this. <laughs> I'm up here trying to peel it off. It's not coming off. I like that, Shauna. <laughs> so this first card has um, the little tag on it to let you know what set of, um, what, kit this came with and here are all the colors very very pretty i love these colors together especially like i would have wouldn't have thought of gray in bible journaling but i love the way that gray looks against this like lavender color and periwinkle and i think i missed the color here yep and there's a pink as well because what is an illustrated faith kit without pink <laughs> so i'm gonna stick that in my lunch tray and here is the kit itself, which I will open in a moment. I want to take everything out. Um, here is the um, vinyl sticker that we always get a vinyl sticker with the kit. And on that note, I'm going to show you that I am exclusively using this um, journal for Illustrated Faith uh, study this year. And I stick all the vinyls on the cover so I know what kits uh, they are. So I'm going to stick in awe of the Lord right there. So I'll remember to stick that on the cover. And here is also another vinyl sticker, which is in support of Shauna Noel's mother-in-law. Um, her name is Catherine, and we absolutely adore her. She has attended some of the retreats. And right now she has um, an illness that uh, is very expensive to treat. And so this is serving as a fundraiser to support her. And so this is a picture of her and her husband on their wedding day. And then of course the backing, y'all. We can't forget the backing, which you can also use if, if you don't use the opposite side, but please consider purchasing one of these vinyl stickers to support um, Shauna Noel's mother-in-law. And also, um, here is the larger version of Elaine's Itty Bitty Icons. So these ones are not so itty bitty. <laughs> these are the mini itty bitties. These are the regular itty bitties. And um, they are cute to use in the margins of your Bible when you're taking notes. So I'm going to stick that here. And then we have some ex exclusive i'm calling this exclusive because where else are you going to get whole reinforcers that look like this <laughs> so here are some 
exclusive illustrated face whole reinforcers and then also for those of you who have followed me for any amount of time you know that after i use the actual sticker i also use the backing of the sticker paper which this is going to be cute with all these different colored circles so i'm excited about that and then we have a paint paint sample card um the kit is a focus on proverbs 31 the proverbs 31 woman and so it looks like i'm not sure if this is what everybody got or if shauna did this for me <laughs> But there are some words here that would describe a Proverbs 31 woman. And so I am happy about this because the colors also match the kit and I can use this uh, in my art. And then for those of you who love mini books, we get um, the cover to a mini book as well as rings. Now, this I believe you purchase separately. So if you purchase the kit and you want this, you have to uh, purchase this additionally. But um, I was gonna say this is the front and this is the back cover, but honestly, whatever you prefer can go in that uh, order. But the this part, let me see if I could put something behind it so you can read it. It says, Whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy. Think about such things, Philippians 4 and 8. And so this is a, um, a way to make a little flip book this way. Or you can do, um, this is your cover and this is your back. And then they um Illustrated Faith also offers matching rings to stick on the side. And I love that these are periwinkle, which is my favorite color out of this kit. So you also can get Make a Mini Book. And we always get these, we get these stickers now, which I am starting to really love because they're great to use on the go. I also use them on Sunday mornings when I am note taking during church services and it's just really easy um, to carry and use. And so these are the stickers for April, which have um, words that describe the Proverbs 31 woman, some arrows that you can use in your journaling or note taking, and then some small images on the bottom that you can use for decor. And then, there is two stencils so i'm going to put this against the back of this so you can see so this first stencil is birds y'all you know i love birds <laughs> and i love that there's so many here so you can stencil in one bird or you can stencil in several and um, i love that the the they're going in opposite directions as well. So that's one stencil that you can get. And then here's a second where you can create um, shapes for your journaling. Let me move this box out of the way. <laughs> I feel like it's in the way now. But also, y'all know we're not throwing this paper away. That could be used in journaling also. And I always love the way uh, Shauna decorates the boxes. I like this sticker on the cover as well. But um, this is um, something that you can trace to make a little uh, note in your journaling. Or you can use it, you know, creatively in your art as well. And it goes, it can go both directions or any direction you need it to go. <laughs> and so those are the stencils for this kit. And let me, because um, my tray look a little empty right here. I put everything behind it. <laughs> So I am excited to show y'all what is inside that bag. But first I want to show you that this is an annotated Proverbs 31 booklet. And this is something new Illustrated Faith is doing. So basically you'll get um, scriptures or verses within here that you can literally annotate on the pages in this little book if you don't want to write in your Bible. And it's not just Proverbs 31. So here we have Proverbs 31, 10 through 31. And then here you have Psalm 33, 4 through 11. 
And there's different versions of some of these uh, scriptures as well, but also plenty of margin space. So for those of you who are interested in Bible journaling or doing some type of journaling where you're focusing on your faith, but you're not ready to jump into a whole Bible yet, this is a great alternative to doing so as you get all these little opportunities to journal within this little book that also is very easy to carry around which I also am still considering taking to Japan with me so that I can maintain my faith while I'm over there, y'all, because I got I to gotta be with the Lord every day, y'all. <laughs> and look at this bag. Oh, my goodness. This is so cute. So this little mauve, dusty purple look with the periwinkle. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, so I love the colors. Y'all know I got to cut the bag open because I might use it. Well, actually, I will use it. And I'll show you how I've been using it in a few when I show you my, my book here. But here's what comes in an actual kit for April if you order this. And so I'm going to stick the paper here. Okay, so the ephemera I always open last because I want to show you all of it. And then, oh, yeah. We get another vinyl sticker. It says she is a woman of strength. Well, now I got to decide which one's going on the cover. Maybe both. I don't know. <laughs> and then this looks just like that um, cover that you can create the mini book with. And a thank you from Shauna on the other side who authored this uh, devotional. Or actually, Shauna did, but not Shauna Noel. <laughs> Shauna Cardona, I believe, is how you say her last name. And you can also use this as a part of your journaling as well. And so you also get a stamp set. Look at this, y'all. The bird. Oh, the bird has details. Ooh, look at that. Look at them details. And then you get the plant from, oh, I like that stamp of the plant from last month's kit. Plus the, the vase bottom so you can put the color on the vase you get words to describe the proverbs 31 woman the bows and this uh speech bubble with florals inside that all is included in the in the stamp set and oh my goodness this is y'all i didn't i didn't i don't watch unboxings from other people before i do my own i just see the pictures and so i didn't see all of these things <laughs> That's why I, I say I'm so surprised. So I am loving this. These are prize ribbon stickers. They're like cardstock, but they're adhesive. You can peel them off and use them. And then they have words you can put on the ribbon jaw. I'm about to award somebody. Somebody's about to be diligent. <laughs> and um, what a way to... I just got an idea. I, I just... I absolutely love these prize ribbon stickers, which have like a merry vibe merry wandering vibe to them and then here we have a, another sticker set designed by jasmine jones they're called vineyard bows and they're different color bows that match the kit and similar to the washi tape if you remember um that i showed you earlier so also i noticed that on the backing there's some florals that are not um perforated so i'm probably gonna cut those out and use them too <laughs> and then here is the actual devotional y'all so if you get this additionally you can use them both simultaneously so this is a devotional with the content this is where you would journal about what you're reading in the devotional and look y'all here's an example of how you can design those bows that i just showed you on those stickers or the ribbons rather sorry not the bows so i'll give you a quick flip of the inside of this it oh so beautiful look at this so y'all i don't know if you know but i cut up all my books <laughs> but i'll show you why it's for a good reason and then here are um some reflection questions some things to ponder and there should be about four weeks of content i'm so cutting her out y'all she is going in something oh my goodness she is so cute and um I cut this down to fit inside that little notebook that I showed you not too long ago. And so um, I'm excited about this because they're also just very, very pretty. 
and then you get reflection questions, scriptures to ponder, you get prayers, um, homework assignments. It's so much in here that can help help you with your faith walk. And then also if you need a little tuck spot, you can cut a little piece of this out and make the lines could be where you write whatever you're journaling about. So this is the Proverbs 31 devotional along with the annotated Proverbs 31 um, little booklet as well. So the last thing I need to show you all, well, no, I have two more things to show you. <laughs> I want to show you all the ephemera because ephemera matters and it is always so beautiful. Now the ephemera that come with these kits is like cardstock, so they're not adhesive. You would have to, um, you know, put glue, staple, um, tape runner, whatever on the back to adhere it, but they are so worth it. And look at that little bag. Y'all always keep the bags while I cut the bottom. <laughs> I'm just going to go through and show you all of the pieces. So here is, this is so beautiful for spring. A little bike, a little journaling spot. I'm also going to show you how I... Uh, organize my ephemera because I, I do organize it a certain way if you've watched my unboxings before you already are familiar so I put like things together so like here I got leaves so they'll go together always put text together in case I need a um a phrase or a header and I'll just look through all my text and so here's another um speech bubble I'll put that with uh, that and more speech bubbles. So this isn't technically a speech bubble, but it is a place where I can write. And so I'll, I always put those kind of like things together. So here is, oh, I love that. Y'all, uh, I love this. <laughs> um, so this is text, which will go with that. More text. Look at that, y'all. These colors together are just glorious. Okay, so now we get into florals because, you know, you can't have ephemera, y'all, without florals. So flowers get their own little section. This little hand holding flowers will go in the floral section. Here's more text. And flowers. More text. In all of the Lord. Look at those colors. I'm in love with these colors, florals, and then I have more leaves which go in the leaf pile. Now this is um this is grapes, so I'm gonna make a separate pile just in case I come across more fruit which I may not, and then I'll probably like put like things together which will just be like with the bike, just random images that I can use, and more text, more leaves. And flowers. Oh, look at that color. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I just love the colors in these. And here are bows. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of bows because there's bow washi and bow stickers. Wisdom. Yes. Flowers and text. Oops. Some more text. Let me get the rest of these up. And then some more florals. Oh, here's the girl! <laughs> I'm so excited to see her. I'm going to put her right there just in case there's more girls. Amen. Here's another girl. She has a plant in front of her. She's holding a plant. Oh, my. I am loving how this kit is descriptive of the Proverbs 31 woman. So it says whatever is lovely so because it has text on it, it's going in my text pile and see i told y'all it might be some more fruit so here's more grapes more florals florals look at that cluster this is proverbs 31 oh my gosh this is getting me excited here's a bird so i'm going to put the bird with the bike because that's an illustration more leaves speech bubble leaves and fruit or grapes oh another bird oh my gosh look at the beak is periwinkle <laughs> okay lovely i call people that 
definitely using that oh my goodness look at that little tail bird okay y'all let me get myself together here so here's more text oh <laughs> it's like a ice cream floral truck so it's like an ice cream truck but but with flowers <laughs> i'm gonna put that with my images here here's another image of a water pail that cluster is so beautiful trust in the lord and do good okay and then more text floral and oh look at this so you don't have to cut up your um devotional because you'll have this piece of ephemera that has that same uh text on it so i'm gonna put all my text together and then also i have all my florals together i usually put the leaves on top so that i can um you know layer those if if needed i don't have that many bows so i'm going to stick them in this pile of um images along with the fruit and the girls and so i essentially have four piles i have my um things to write on i have my images i can use my florals and leaves and then all of my text and so once I get that all um, organized, I'll put like things together and then put them in my little tray here. So I'll stick the girls with in this last little section right here with my note from Shauna. And then the florals will go in the middle with the washi tape. So that is my little tray. And before you go, because I know you wanted to see that unboxing, but I also want to share with you what I've been doing with um, the kits. And so I'm going to actually move this out the way so I can have a little bit more space to share this with you all. Okay, so here is my, um, I'm going to need a lot more space. So let's just move this whole thing. <laughs> in real time y'all seeing this okay so here is my um this is a i want to say it's a b5 archer and olive and it was exclusive to um those who had been on the team but i think they sell these now it's the white um golden ampersand version oh i forgot that i had the vinyls on here so my two vinyl stickers from this kit one of them will go on the cover I still have to decide which one. It will probably be this cluster one of flowers because I feel like I can layer that a little bit like that. Because my goal is to cover the whole cover with the year's worth of um, vinyl stickers. So, But I'm going to put that to the side for now so I can show y'all the inside. So here is the inside of this book. I need more space. <laughs> This book is big. Y'all, I like journaling big. Um, I am a big journaler. So, essentially, um, I think popular sizes are like B6 and A5. I go straight to B5, and I love it. So, here, this is a, a page from this month's kit, the March um, Joyful Obedience Kit. I really love her. Ooh, she's cute. And so I put queen at the top because I felt like this was welcoming me. So I took this page out of the devotional. This is what I mean by I cut them up. And it says, queen, hello, love, and welcome. Welcoming me to my journal. <laughs> and then I put the year at the bottom. These are um, alpha stickers from Illustrated Faith also. And then on the inside, I really like um, the opposite side of this page too. So instead of gluing it down, I made it a tip in so that I could reread the scripture, Psalm 92, 12 through 15. And then I put this little cluster here because I already put queen here. So I didn't want to put my name again under this book belongs to. But I put this little beloved girl, which you can also get with... Um, this upcoming kit that i just unboxed it is in the print and pray shop on the beloved society and i'm so excited about it so this is my makeshift table of content so essentially all i'm doing y'all let me start with saying this is a don't think too hard notebook 
So don't be in here like, girl, you should. I ain't doing nothing that's going to cause me a lot of labor because I have a lot of projects that I work on all the time. And so this was just a way for me to um, try to maintain my faith-based Bible study, especially exclusively through Illustrated Faith. And so I, I'm not trying to do too much here. So here you'll see all the washi from the first three months. And what I do is I kind of layer them over top of each other and then I stick some type of ephemera or sticker over them that came with that month's kit. So this was January. Technically, this was not the washi that came with January, y'all. I can't find it. Don't tell Shada. I can't find it. But I knew it was floral. So I needed a floral washi. So I put that right there. It's from December. <laughs> And then uh, for February, these were the three, but also this came with February's kit as well. And then um, these are the three washies from March. And then underneath, of course, I'm going to put those three washies that I just unboxed and share with you here for April. And then, um, so this also tells you what page each each month starts on and these tabs mark those spots as well so the first kit from january was um all things beautiful and so one of the things i do because i love the bags and i was like what am i gonna do with these bags i cannot just like y'all i got kits old kits sitting in bags i love the bags like i need to look at the bags so i decided that i would make them the background of the cover page for that month's devotional and so this was the cover of the devotional with the bag behind it. These were the four week studies in that kit. This was written by Shauna. I know that because I have it at the bottom along with the date of the kit. And I'll show you what I put inside. It's not a lot, y'all. So sometimes there's a whole page that I love. <laughs> and so in this case, I love the call to action. It has like some practical things that we should be um monitoring and doing on a regular basis and so i put their whole page down here and then also i'm going to stick this under here so the page isn't so flat that you can't see it okay so shauna challenged everyone to go back to the year before and select photos for their little flip book that they could create um, for each month but i decided to move forward because i've already done last year's flip book um I uh, am printing a photo a month of something that God did. So one of the things she said was, look what God did. And so what I've done so far for the first three months of the year is, oh gosh, somebody's getting happy mail. <laughs> so every month I would print a photo of something God did and then I just quickly journaled behind it. Y'all, low stakes and have to work too hard is tipped in with a little piece of washi that matches the color of that um that little part at the bottom and then i also did a currently y'all guess what is my mail i could see the person walking up to my house <laughs> so i also did a little current the currently um square which was also in the devotional i cut this out and I filled it in. I also love the back, so I kept that intact instead of covering it as well. And so what I'll also do with this throughout the year is open it, and I have all the other months. So by the end of the year, I'll have one thing God did each month, and um, on the back, it just has the um, cover from one of the weeks, which tells me to shine my light and i will so i wanted to show y'all i made a little pocket on the page so that i could just um place that inside each time i need to update it and then i made this little background for when i take take this out so i'm going to put it back and now go to the next page this is still part of the january kit so y'all i oftentimes because I'm terrible with hoarding cute things, I hoard the cute ephemera. So by the time I get to the point of this notebook, I am now trying to layer everything. <laughs> so that's why you see all this stuff down here. Um, I had uh, thought to write some information in here. Have still have not yet decided what that should be, but um, essentially this page is saying, "Go and tell all the all things beautiful. He knows every part of the story." And then I stuck some ephemera in these little um, 
slits from that piece of ephemera here. And um, all of this did not come with this kit. Some of it is things that I have stuff that I just need to use, like these uh, black and white florals that are behind it. So I just try to use my stash and that was all for January. Then after January, we get to February, which was preparing hearts. And again, I use my bag in the background so I can see it. I also use the back cover of the devotional because I love this um, type of uh, this writing style. And then I put, um, instead of putting the whole cover of the devotional, kind of like I did for January, I just cut out the heart and then use some ephemera with it. These are the first two weeks of the devotional, the um, studies, and then these are the other two. So I keep these also the, the titles because often the titles are, are like a reminder of what I read about in the kit. So, you know, walking through the heart, I can remember when Becky Baker, who again, I have here at the bottom with the date, um, she wrote about her experiences and and how we navigate that. And so just from looking at that title, I can remember some of the things that she reminded us to do and believe uh, through Christ. So this is my little makeshift page. Y'all see, it's like low stakes. Now you might look at it and be like, oh, that's beautiful. But y'all, I promise you, it ain't take me that long. I just <laughs> laying some stuff, scribbling in the background and I kept it moving. I also try to use all of the washi, which I was able to accomplish. So I'm proud of myself for that. Then we get to the March kit written by Sherry Ann here um, called Joyful Obedience. I got the bag in the background again, the four weeks of study. Um, I actually journaled this in my Bible. And so the devotional I cut up and put in my journaling Bible as I read Philippians. And so I reprinted the four weeks so I could have it for this journal. But I also um, like this this little section of her devotional. Now, first of all, let me just say I love the whole devotional. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but um, this little section really spoke to me. And it's something that I believe that I should read repeatedly or over and over again. And so I cut that out and stuck it here and just did a little... Here, here I go again, y'all, trying to use up my stash. And I was trying to get creative with the little drips and stuff, but Archer and Olive wasn't having it, y'all. Woo, this thing bled through real bad, look. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I still love it. I'm still going to use this book. And so I'm ready to move forward and add the next section to this book, which is Proverbs 31. And i um, excited to add April. So... Let me know your thoughts on the kit, what you like most about the kit, uh, what you liked about this little review book I have. And then um, let me know also if you purchased because we're going to be reading this together. Thanks for joining me, you all. Bye.